Hi, my name is Terry Dana Chikimak II. I'm the digital painter, and this, well, this is another digital painter vidcast. All right, so it has been a couple weeks since I put out my last video, and part of the reason for that is because I was at a conference for a week in which I gave a workshop that dealt with uh, using Photoshop in theatrical rendering. And then it was the first week of classes. And for anybody that has uh, either known someone in college or been in college themselves, you know the first week of classes can be a little crazy. And this week uh, has been a little crazy. So I'm just coming down off of that. You guys are getting a video. I can't promise a ton here, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to see what I can do. And uh, yeah, so I'm back full time, <laughs> but uh, but I apologize. Uh, a couple of things. I want to say thank you to all the comments I've been getting on YouTube. Really appreciating it. I will be responding this weekend. I just haven't had a chance to. I do like to respond to all the comments. Uh, you know, there's a funny thing I was reading somewhere. You know, if you're doing marketing, you shouldn't respond to every YouTube comment because uh, it makes you look needy. Well, I am needy. So I'm going to respond to those comments. Uh, just give me, you know, till this weekend. And then uh, I also want to say some of the comments uh, that I've had over the past couple of months uh, have been funny because they say, you know, I talk too much. And I will admit, I do indeed talk entirely too much. But unfortunately, that is not going to change. I will continue to talk too much. So if you are someone who likes things very succinct and to the point, this is not really the channel to be subscribed to. There are other channels out there that are very, you know, direct and to the point. So... All right. All right. This week, I actually wanted to talk about adjustment layers, which is something that I use from time to time, but I don't necessarily always talk about. And you're probably thinking, what the heck is an adjustment layer? Well, let me get to that. Uh, so sometimes you will put things down. And when I'm doing photography, I use adjustment layers a ton. But when I do art, I only use it on occasion. Uh, but it is something that's helpful. This is in Photoshop, OK? So let's say I put down something. Let me grab. Let's grab a, a decent paintbrush. What do you want to do today? Gouache? OK, I'll do gouache. Click OK. Grab this. I'm going to grab a blue, maybe that blue right there, right? That's OK. I'm going to zoom out a little. I'm a little zoomed in here. There we go. And let's say, you know, at some point I'm putting down some gouache here on a layer. And that's a nice blue, right? But let's say, you know, I've been working. Actually, let's do this. Let me grab a little bit of a lighter color, this blue. Put it up here. A little bit of a highlight, and then we'll take it a little darker. And a little bit of a shadow. There we go. But say we're looking at that, we're like, you know, I talked to somebody, and they're like, you know what? I don't like blue. Well, there's a cool thing that you can do in the blair, in the blayers. You can tell it's been a week. In the layers section, right here, and you see it down here. It's this little circle. And if you click it, there's all these different things. This is going to, when I click one of these, it's going to create a new layer. So if you see right here, I'm on layer five. I click this. And let's do, let's do a hue saturation. So I've clicked it. And you notice there's now a new layer labeled hue and saturation. So if we look up here, there's a bunch of settings that can be adjusted. Hue, saturation. Uh-oh, look at that. Uh-oh, I'm changing the colors of things. Look at that. I didn't have to repaint it. Or maybe, uh-oh, uh-oh, I just took the saturation way down and maybe brought the lightness up. So right here, I'm adjusting. It, you want to see something even better. Rather than having to repaint all this, I'm using this adjustment layer. And if I turn the adjustment layer off, back to the original color. This is huge for me, especially as a designer for theater, when a director will look at a costume and they'll go, you know what, can we see that in a different color? And I'll be like, yes, yes, we can. Now I'm just using the hue saturation sliders up here. You can click the colorize, and you can adjust that way too. I don't really need to, so I'm not clicking it right now. I'm just playing with these sliders. That's the master. You can go in. So for example, let's go into the greens. 
So now we're just adjusting the greens of it. And the changes are much more minor. Or let's try the cyans. Yeah, you can see very little. We'll go back to the master. You can see a lot more with the master. And yeah, you can see, you know, those changes are, whoa, huge. Okay. So, so like I said, that there, that was the hue saturation. It's not the only one we can do, though. I'm going to turn it off. And let's grab a different one. Let's grab, so let's grab our curves. We can grab our curves, you know, RGB curves here. And we can start to tweak it this way, too. until you get exactly what you want. And then you can turn it off again. Other things you've got in here, you've got solid color, gradient pattern, brightness contrast, which is nice. Uh, not so much for this, but you can see the contrast. You can bring that up and down. Uh, I, use, I use that one a lot more in photography. You've got your levels, right? You can mess with your levels. Oh, let's grab this and move it over. That darkens. This way we'll lighten it. Okay, turn that off. You've got, we showed the curves, exposure, again, that's more of a photograph, vibrance, hue and saturation is probably the one I use the most when I'm doing artwork so that I can change colors very easily. You've got color balance, black, white, photo filter, color lookup, and then some other ones that I don't use quite as often. Now you do have to be aware that these affect everything under it. So let's turn our hue saturation one back on. If I were to come down and add a new layer, layer six, and I were to paint, it's going to color it. So then if I turn off the hue saturation, it's going to color it even though it was not down when I originally put it, uh, put, put it in the hue saturation. Now the one way you can work around that is if you notice, I have this group up here. And if you switch the group from pass through to normal, and if we then take and move our layer out of that group, out of that group, it goes back to its original color because now the adjustment layer is only affecting layer five, okay? Because it's in a group, it's staying in that group. Now the group was initially set as pass through. So if I come back, and what that means is anything in the group affects anything below it. So we're going to go back, we're going to put it back normal, and now it's only affecting the stuff inside it. So adjustment layers are a great, great way that once you've worked on a painting, especially for people who, like me, do different parts in different layers. So for example, I may do you know the jacket on one layer and do the skin on another layer and the hair on another layer. If you just toss that into a group, switch it to normal, you can then use an adjustment layer and change the color very easily, such as, you know, taking a blonde hair to a brown hair or taking a jacket that's red and turning it green. It's really useful that way. All right, this has been a quick one this week because, well, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm going to get some rest. Remember this weekend, I'm going to be answering some of these uh, this comments I've got on YouTube. And if you have any questions uh, or are interested in anything, uh, in regards to any of the art apps or computer programs that I use, such as Photoshop, Corel Painter, Art Rage, Paintstorm Studio, just go ahead and leave me a message on the YouTube, and I'll either answer it via uh, uh, a YouTube video, or I'll answer it directly via the comment section there. All right. Ah, man. It is Friday, isn't it? Well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I hope that you continue drawing all weekend sketch away and I will see you soon. Take care.